It is not something you normally see along a freeway, but local Caltrans crews have been keeping a close watch on a geyser that is impacting both the Union Pacific Railroad and State Route 111 near Eaton Island in Imperial County. The challenge, this geyser is moving. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on what makes this so rare and the drone video that captures it all. Marcella, this is the only moving geyser in the world. On average, it shifts about 10 feet every month. Because of that, Caltrans crews have had to plan accordingly to keep traffic in the area moving as well. Close up, you'd think this drone video was captured in Yellowstone National Park, famously known for its geysers. But take a wider look and you'll see why this one is so unique. The bubbling pool of mud sits in Imperial County next to State Route 111 and the Union Pacific Railroad. So there's water bubbling up through the surface. So you can actually see the caldera. Sean Rizzuto with Caltrans says the geyser or mud pot is releasing CO2. It's been around since 1953, but it didn't start moving until 2016, following some seismic activity in the area. So it's been moving about 10 feet per month on average. The challenge, says Rizzuto, is determining where it will go next. Right now it's been static for the past probably two and a half, three months. So it really hasn't moved very much, but that could change in an instant. Caltrans officials considered several options, including a detour, which wasn't ideal because it would have taken drivers 80 miles out of the way. And the 111 is crucial for the agriculture business here. So instead, a temporary road was built parallel to the 111, wrapping drivers around the geyser, as you can see in this video. It's 50 feet from our existing roadway, but a couple hundred feet from our new, uh, our new alignment that we constructed for the detour. Tour. In addition, sheep pile walls were constructed as well as a subsurface drainage system to help control the water being emitted, which some scientists estimate is around 40,000 gallons a day. With that amount of water, it creates a quick zone, which is liquid faction for about an area from the surface to about uh, between 40 and 50 feet in depth. But even with all those fixes, the geyser has the upper hand. Initially moving southeast, it continued south, so Caltrans is now expanding that temporary roadway. Their plan is to monitor the geyser until it moves far enough away to be able to repair the original 111 and make that a permanent road yet again for years to come. The cost of this project, around $19 million. Caltrans officials say motorists are not in danger, but keep in mind, this area is not open for public viewing. It has piqued the interest of several people, though, including the experts over at National Geographic.